Hi third graders, today is Wednesday, December 9th. You are halfway through the week now, only a couple days left, and we are getting awfully close to winter break, which is exciting. Now, we are going to do a couple activities today. So we're gonna hop right into it. Make sure you're doing your 20 minutes of reading or listening to a book. And like I said, story time online, I believe the name of it is a good place to go find videos to watch um, of people reading different picture books that are kind of fun. So make sure you're also watching the reading video for me, which you are currently doing, and for your classroom teacher. And then we're gonna go into our phonics, which is this page in your learning bundle. Now, this week we have been working on a new vowel. So last week was, a, was the vowel A. This week our vowel is E. Remember our vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Uh, the letter E, I'm gonna write one on my board for you. E, the letter E goes eh, eh. Make that sound a couple times so you know what the short E, I should say, because sometimes our E goes E, our short E goes eh. And all of our words, because in the last week we had one page that had an, the long A sound, all of ours are short, so we're making that eh. So I'm gonna turn the camera so we can practice writing our E. And we'll get right into our work. Now, the E, remember, this starts in the middle, and it's a short letter. I don't want us to see, see this one's almost too big. I made it a little big so you can see when I was holding it up. But you kind of start in between right there, and then you come around and down. Come around and down. Okay? I want you to practice writing the letter E seven times, our number is seven this week, I almost forgot, seven times, and then find a word, think of a word that has that letter E in it. I'm going to do the word net. And you can see I have my short letters are short and my tall letter is tall. And this would be net, net. You know how to sound out those other sounds and we now know that our short E goes at. So you can write some words that you might not have been able to write before, which is pretty fantastic. So pause the video, write your letter E seven times, and then write a word that has the letter E in it. When you're done doing that, you can get your phonics page ready. I'm going to try and get this so you can see a little bit more. There we go. So it says Wednesday, 12, 9. That is today. And then we have this sort. So on the bottom, there's a bunch bunch of pictures and then we have our words that end with en ed and et so if i look at this first one it is a net hmm net t -t. i'm hearing that t sound there so i would cut out this picture and put it right here so you're going to go through and do all of these and r put them in the correct spot The next page, we've done one of these before, I believe. Yes, I think this week we did a couple. Uh, and we have our pictures. So we have a bed, hen, jet. You're going to cut out these letters to make spell them in these boxes. So this is bed, b, e, d. So I get the b, e, and d, and I'd glue them there, and then you're going to write the word in this box. You can pause the video here and do it and then hit play again when you're ready to move on. For this one, we have our pictures and then we have our words down here. So this is where you're going to sound out these words. So I would look. This is a p -e -n, pen. Where is the picture of the pen? Right here. So I can write pen. Now, if you know this is a web, you could go w -e -b, web and then cross it off. So you can go in order here or you can go in the order of the words. But you need to write each word that goes with the picture on the lines, and you can cross them out of your word bank once you're done with them. And the last page for our phonics practice is one that I know we've done before. This one is where you need to circle 
the words that end with ET or ELL. -L. So I sell the jet. I know sell is one of the words and jet is one of the words that I'm looking for. So I would write jet on this line and then sell on this line. Okay, and then finish the last ones with that. So that is our phonics practice for today. After that, we have our inferences number three worksheet. So inference number three, Wednesday 12, nine. And we did one just like this, yes, not yet yesterday, but this week we've done some like this. Now remember, inferences is a prediction we can make from what we read. And it uses what we already know. So I, you have all this information already in your brain from your life and what you've already learned. And then you're going to read a paragraph about something. And based on what you read, sometimes a picture, and what you already know, you can make a guess about how someone's feeling or what might happen next or what time of the year it is. So for these, I'm going to read them. And then I want you to circle or color in the box that has the correct answer. It was time for lunch. Logan and Sarah sat together. What do you have for dessert? Sarah asked him. I'll give you a hint. It's round on the bottom and has icing. Logan answered. So what does he have for dessert? So my hint is it's round on the bottom and has icing. What's round on the bottom and has icing? A candy bar, a cake, an ice cream, or a cupcake. Think about what he would bring. Circle or color in your answer. Pause it here if you need a little bit more time. You can also rewind and play it again if you need to hear me again. Katie grabbed a bucket and a shovel. She walked to the edge of the water. Sydney helped her shovel wet sand into the bucket. This is going to be the best sand castle ever, Katie said. Where are Katie and Sydney? Are they at home, at the beach, at the pool, in the park? So if you guess they have a bucket, they're building a sand castle, where do you think they are? Home, the beach, a pool, or the park? When you're done answering those, flip over to the back. You have two more inference work practice questions to do. It was time for a reading group. Timmy, Leo, and Katie met Mrs. Lee at the table. We are reading a new book today, Mrs. Lee said. It's about a famous person. So, what is the book about? If it's about a famous person, do you think it's about dinosaurs, Abraham Lincoln, dogs, or two friends? Famous person. And our last inference question. Chris and his dad were coming home from the park. It was his dad's birthday. Hurry, Dad, Chris called. I want to get home right away. Why are you in such a hurry, Dad asked. I'm going to help Mom bake something special, Chris said. What will Chris help his mom bake? Remember, it was his dad's birthday. What are they going to help bake? A pie, bread, cookies, or a cake? Okay. Once you finish those four questions, you do need to do a little work in your quarantine packet. I'm going to turn the camera so you can see me again. Okay, so in your quarantine time capsule, I'm just peeking to see which one we need to do. You need to do the How I'm Feeling page. This is stapled really weird. How I'm Feeling. Okay, your first question is, how are you feeling about all of this? How are you feeling about quarantine and the pandemic and COVID? Write your feelings here. And then what are you looking forward to most when quarantine's over? What are you excited for when it's over? I'm excited for everyone to be back at school um, and to see everyone again. But what are you excited for? So those are the two questions that you need to do, or the page you need to do. Now, there is one more thing that you need to do. This can be done any day during the week, but I need you to do it this week at some point. You all got a lovely green sheet that looks like this. Okay, and it's on your schedule for today's complete this, 
this green packet. What's in there is your one minute reading fluency. Time yourself for one minute and see how many words you can read. Yours might look different. Yours also, you might not have one of these and that's okay. Some of you I didn't give one to, but you need to read as much as you can for one minute. If you want, I want you to, if you could film yourself on your Chromebook, that would be best. Or to say, to set up a time to quickly meet with me that I can do this with you. The next thing is yours might not look like this. Remember, yours most likely has a picture. The one that I have doesn't have a picture, but the next page has the, where you read the paragraph that's, and then answer the five questions, four or five questions. You need to do this. Try to do it as much as you can on your own. Remember, someone can help you read words, but you need to read most of it on your own if possible. So do this. And the last one, yours does not look like this, but it is the writing page. You have a different writing. This is for January, because my ex you already got sent these when I filmed them, so I can't and don't have what you're doing. Um, but do the writing, and you need to do five sentences, okay? Five sentences. Remember punctuation, capital letters, and five sentences about whatever picture you have. This is not the picture for today. This is a different one. But whatever picture you have, do the writing five sentences. If you want to write more, go for it. So you need to do this at some point this week, and I really need this back. Or take pictures of it and send it to me. Okay. Um, and that is all for today. I know this is going to be confusing. It's our first week doing this, so if you need help or have questions, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Deep breaths. It's all going to be okay. Uh, keep up the great work and have a marvelously wonderful rest of your day.